Okay, boys, so I'm in my SX4 here. And um, I want to show you the uh, climate control um, operation, the air conditioning uh, function with respect to um, the evaporator uh, temp sensor and its influence on the compressor clutch, right? So I don't have the compressor on and off pad here shown because I think it makes a bit more sense to see it with respect to refrigerant pressure. So the two pads that I actually have up here on my MD802 is um, refrigerant pressure and evaporator temperature, okay? So the evaporator temp sensor sits inside the evaporator, as you can well imagine, and its function is to protect the system from freeze up. That is to say that if the evaporator goes to in and around the zero degree mark, it will tell the compressor to cut out. And of course, with no refrigerant circulating in the system, the temperature will cycle up on the evaporator. And then once the threshold is met, the cut end threshold is met on the evaporator temp, the compressor will run again and the, system, the entire system cycles on that basis. So let me put the air conditioning on. Let's track the two pits here, see if we can make some sense. So uh, a voice over here, boys, because I lost the audio. You can see I've hit the AC button on. The compressor has cut in, accounting for the refrigerant pressure climb, of course. You can see on the evaporator temperature there, it's plunging as the refrigerant is circulating through the, through the system, of course. And as it hits the zero degree mark, you can see an immediate drop in the refrigerant pressure because it's cut the uh, clutch out on the compressor. There's no longer uh, a circulation in the refrigerant and the temperature of course starts to climb immediately in the evaporator. So uh, that's how the, the system actually cycles. That's how the evaporator temp sensor is actually controlling the system operation, the AC system proper's operation. Um, basically by uh, hitting the, uh, the cut in and cut out thresholds. So you can see the temperature of the evaporator there is climbing towards six degrees and then it allows the compressor to cut back in again the, the temperature will immediately drop and as it does drop, it drops towards zero, cuts the uh, compressor out and the pressure will start to drop and the entire system just continues to cycle on that basis. That way it can keep the, uh, the evaporator temperature as low as possible without actually risking a freeze up. Obviously if it free freezes up, the moisture that's on the evaporator uh, uh, fins would obviously freeze uh, restricting the airflow in the system, which is the exact opposite of the, the desired effect of the air conditioning system, of course. Right. So uh, I thought it was quite interesting here and worthwhile posting here, boys. Um, sorry about the audio being buggerized, but um, you can clearly see uh, the cut in and cut out thresholds. The cut in is uh, six degrees or so on the evaporator. It cuts the compressor in. The refrigerant starts to circulate, as I said lowering the temperature in the evaporator pretty much instantaneously. And then as it approaches zero degree, it hits the cutout threshold, at which point in time the pressure will actually uh, uh, start to drop in the system because the compressor is cut out via the clutch, of course, and the system cycles the entire time on that basis. So you can see the, uh, the rise and fall in both the refrigerant pressure, and it is obviously cycling uh, as, a, as, a, as a function of evaporator temperature. So uh, I hope this makes actually uh, some sense, boys. Oh yeah, so one dig at the, uh, the V-Packer there. Remember I was telling you it was incapable of reading the temp control. So there I'm altering the temp control selector there. The target temperature for the system. I don't know. L Lotel has no issue actually reading it. But to be fair, the V-Packer didn't have any trouble reading the Vitara's uh, target temperature there, so. <laughs> That's just my wicked mind.